send you. Okay. The re so we're recording now recording. Is uh, I'm not sharing yet. Now I should be. Uh, and I'll carry on unless you tell me you cannot see this, but I'm hoping you, you can see the slides. So welcome everyone. Uh, this is our semi-annual uh, update on our activities on our Isaac Emerging Technology uh, Initiative. Uh, these are the, the points we're gonna cover. So uh, after my, my welcome, we're gonna do the chair's report. We're gonna briefly talk about our plan uh, for the next stages for the rest of 2023 and a bit of 2024. And we'll have some time for questions and answers uh, at the end. Uh, just a couple of things uh, as we're getting started. So we ask that everybody stays on mute uh, so we don't have any background noise. Uh, we ask that you don't annotate the screen. I think we had once somebody annotating and it stays on the screen and everybody sees it. So please try not to annotate if you're using a touch screen. Uh, and I'd like to ask you as a means of you know, taking a presence here to enter your name, email and affiliation on our chat box so we can record uh, who's here. Uh, I'm Christos Masuras, I forgot to say. Uh, I'm doing the chair's report in place of uh, uh, our chair, Fan Liu, who's not available to join uh, today. Uh, myself, I'm a vice chair of, uh, of this um, ATI and a founding member. So let's uh, get cracking. Um, so uh, updates. So in terms of our membership, we have uh, healthy numbers, I think uh, quite significant numbers. So our members at the moment are 872, 34 of them are IEEE fellows. And by the way, I'd like to congratulate our two esteemed colleagues, uh, members of our ATI, uh, Professor Chung Hui Chang and Professor Xin Wan uh, for getting their uh, uh, becoming IEEE fellows this year. Uh, we have, yeah, on WeChat, we have about 1,500 members. Uh, we have many followers growing. Many followers on YouTube and uh, Billy Billy, so healthy numbers um, as far as I can see. Uh, we've had the pleasure of uh, having some of our uh, works on Isaac um, uh, awarded uh, from the Comsoc and the uh, Aerospace Engineering uh, Society. So 12 uh, of our members have received uh, uh, Best Paper Awards. Six of us have been uh, selected as distinguished uh, lecturers. So uh, some of us have uh, won the Stephen O'Reilly Prize for the most impactful Comsoc um, uh, uh, paper, uh, the Comsoc Fred El Ellersick Prize, the Comsoc Heinrich Hein uh, Hertz Award, the Comsoc Best Tutorial Paper Award, and the Aerospace Society uh, Barry Carlton uh, Award. And here you can see our six uh, uh, distinguished uh, lectures, all members uh, of our ATI. So congratulations uh, to, to all of them. Uh, in terms of publications, we keep monitoring uh, the population of publications on, on Isaac. So it keeps growing. You see the, the yellow line is uh, when we established this ETI and uh, the interest um, in, in this area has been growing ever since. Let me get rid of this. Uh, now we have a couple of uh, well-established uh, topics. Uh, so beamforming and waveform design for Isaac, uh, more general signal processing, precoding, detection, and so on. Some more recent uh, topics that have now gained um, uh, attention are information theory and uh, fundamental uh, studies for Isaac. Uh, Isaac with RIS, obviously, uh, following the hype of uh, reconfigurable uh, surfaces. Isaac with learning, and in particular, how Isaac facilitates federative learning and federated sensing. Uh, and also, uh, we have growing data sets and growing population of uh, demos uh, in, in many places around the world. Uh, and some emerging topics, more recent ones, are security and privacy, the unique uh, challenges uh, for Isaac systems. Uh, delayed Doppler signal processing and how this can facilitate uh, the integration of sensing and communications and also uh, IC, uh, so a circuit design for uh, Isaac applications. Uh, in terms of funding and uh, international, national and international projects, uh, here's a, a list of, uh, uh, of, of projects. 
I think in red, we've highlighted uh, the more recent ones. So there's recent investment, significant investment in, in China in such uh, research uh, in Europe and in the US uh, in terms of millions uh, that are being funded uh, uh, on projects relating to integrated sensing and uh, communications. Um, yeah, I think that's all we had to say on this one. So now we're going to go on to the, the update for each of our working groups. As a reminder, we have six working groups. Uh, the publications group is led by Professor Athena Petropoulou and uh, Andrew uh, Zhang. Uh, the conference and events group, uh, I work on that together with uh, Professor Weijie Yuan. The education group is led by uh, Jie Xu and Marwa Chafi. The online contest group uh, is led by uh, Yuan Hao Kui. The demonstration and data sets group is led by Taneli Rihonen and Bhavani Shankar. And the industrial activities group by Tony Shao Han and Claudio Da Silva. So let's take uh, these one by one. So on the publications working group, recent highlights involve uh, the five Isaac focus uh, issues. So these are regular newsletters and uh, Andrew in particular has been instrumental in, in putting these together. So we have five published and one uh, in uh, preparation. We have uh, five uh, special issues uh, in JSAC, in um, uh, WCM, in Coms Magazine, in Open Journal of Coms, and in China Communications. We have eight ongoing uh, uh, special issues in, in various venues as well, such as uh, IoT Magazine, Vehicular Technology Magazine, and others. Uh, we have two books on, on the topic published, Isaac, uh, and one book uh, in preparation. So let's take a, a, a more detailed look. So these are the uh, our regular newsletters. So we've had uh, five of these. So the first one uh, has been on vehicular networks. Uh, let me pick up my pointer. The second one has been uh, on Isaac for Wi-Fi, uh, radar-centric Isaac. Isaac for mobile networks and fundamental theories. And uh, there's one in preparation uh, on IoT, Isaac for IoT uh, networks. So here are our uh, lead contributors for the first one on uh, vehicular uh, networks, uh, you can see here. In parallel, we have these uh, kind of informal interviews, so Isaac focused interviews, and these are led by uh, our colleague, Professor Nuria Prelchitz. Uh, and I had the pleasure to, to discuss with Nuria for, in the first one. Uh, here's the second uh, activity, so the, the newsletter on Wi-Fi, and here are our leads. And this was our second interview with Professor Jörg uh, Widmer. Uh, then the third one was our radar-centric uh, Isaac, again, led by these esteemed colleagues. And we have our third interview with uh, Dr. Kumar Mishra. Um, then the fourth one on uh, uh, for Isaac for mobile networks again our technical uh, leads. Uh, the fourth on fundamental theories you can see our leads here and uh, the interview with Nico Valkama. Uh, and now uh, on the on the rest of the publication, so we have. One special issue that's now been uh, completed on uh, uh, wireless uh, communication magazine. I had the pleasure of uh, leading uh, the team. Uh, so we had uh, 26 papers submitted, six of uh, which were uh, accepted. It has a, a tight um, uh, success rate. Uh, and it's worth noting that 16 out of 26 papers submitted um, were from our uh, ETI, from members of our ETI, so more than half of those, and almost all of the accepted ones, so five out of six uh, were uh, co-authored by uh, our members. So this, I think, goes to show that uh, our membership captures uh, a big majority of, of the people working in the area. Uh, our second issue that's also been completed was the uh, Combs Magazine uh, issue, and that was led by uh, Professor Wei Jie Yuan. Uh, again, we had 35 papers submitted and th uh, 13 accepted, and out of these 35, 22 were authored by our members. Then, uh, which one is that? So IoT Magazine uh, Special Issue, that's an ongoing one. So if you're working in IoT applications of uh, Isaac, 
And the deadline is 31st uh, of May. This is led by Professor Yang Hao Kuri. Uh, so yeah, if you're working on this, feel free to check out the call for papers and submit your work uh, to that uh, SI. Then here's another one, an ongoing one. So Communication Standards Magazine, a special issue. And that's with the lead of uh, Ahmed Elbir. Uh, again, uh, an open, uh, an open uh, call that's open at the moment. So 1st of July is the deadline. So if you're working on anything to do with standards related uh, to Isaac, again, please consider uh, submitting to this uh, special issue. Uh, the next one is uh, in JSTSP, so Journal of Selected Topics in Signal Processing, uh, and that's uh, one on learning-based signal processing uh, for Isaac, and you can see the call here. This is led by uh, Kumar uh, Mishra, and the deadline is, uh, is a bit tight, 15th of May. Again, those of you working on uh, learning-based solutions for Isaac, feel free to, to check the call and consider this uh, 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 special issue for submission. Uh, in terms of books, so the first book has been published um, by our esteemed colleagues, Kumar Mishra, uh, Bhavani mm -hmm. Shankar, Bjorn Odesson, and Lee Swindlehurst. Uh, here is uh, the cover page. It was published, I think, last year, 2022, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it has contributions from 40 leading researchers uh, um, from our ETI. The second book has been from our colleagues uh, Kai Wu, Andrew Zhang, and Jay Guo, Joint Communication and Sensing from Fundamentals to Advanced Techniques. Uh, and that was published back in November, 2022. And there's an upcoming one that I have the pleasure to work with um, with the lead of uh, Fan Liu and uh, together with Yonina Eldar. Uh, and you can see the cover, it's being produced at the moment. We're hoping for this to be published uh, in July this year. Uh, so quite a, a detailed overview uh, of uh, the most recent Isaac research. Again, contributions from more than 50 uh, of our uh, members in this ETI. Uh, now here's the update for our working group two, that's on conferences and events. Uh, so the highlights here involve two dedicated uh, conferences uh, between 2023 and uh, planned for 2024, four regular sessions, eight workshops, five special sessions and four tutorials uh, on Isaac organized by our members in our ATI. So briefly going through these. So we had a successful, uh, the third um, uh, Joint Sensing and Communication Symposium. Um, and that happened uh, in March this year. And here you can see uh, our speakers and panelists that took part in this uh, uh, conference. We had uh, quite a significant participation for, for a conference dedicated on sensing and communications from all kinds of places. Um, it, it's a three-day conference with five keynotes and invited talks. We had 46 submissions, out of which 20, in terms of regular papers, out of which 20 were uh, accepted. So an acceptance ratio of 43%. Uh, that happened in Tirol in Austria, and next year is going to move. Um, to a, a different location. Here you have some snapshots. It's a very nice venue. Uh, here you see the, the organizers and uh, some of the speakers. There were panels on Isaac. There were remote, so hybrid sessions, um, both uh, in-person and remote sessions. Uh, again, uh, a nice, fun uh, symposium on the topic of uh, Isaac. Uh, so this is the next year's edition. Um, and these are the organizing committee. Uh, and this is going to move to uh, Leuven in uh, Belgium uh, again in March 2024. So if you're working in the area, it's a great uh, uh, event. You get to talk to the people uh, uh, working on Isaac specifically. So it's quite a focused uh, event. Uh, and it's going to happen in March 2024 in uh, Leuven, uh, Belgium this time. Uh, there's lots of uh, workshops and workshop series happening in, in all kinds of uh, flagship conferences, uh, uh, certainly the ComSoc uh, conferences. So we've been uh, organizing stuff in WCNC 2022 and uh, recently 2023 workshop on uh, Isaac. Uh, ICC the same 2022, it was the fourth edition. 2023 is the sixth edition combining with Globcom. ICCC, the Chinese uh, based one, uh, there's an ongoing 
um, uh, uh, workshop series. Uh, and now we've established um, uh, a dedicated symposia in, in flagship conferences, uh, including WCNC, ICC. This year and next year, we'll have uh, uh, the symposia on, on uh, integrated sensing and communications. And so will uh, Globcom uh, this year and next year as well, and, and onwards. Uh, we reached out to other uh, societies as well. So here are some examples on what we're doing uh, with the ACM society, so the computer uh, society. We had the first uh, ACM Mobicom uh, workshop on uh, ISAC last year, and we're organizing another two on MobiSys and uh, on Mobicom again. That will happen uh, this year. So I think MobiSys is uh, June this year. I don't know if you can see it clearly. And Mobicom again, uh, October uh, later this year. So workshops dedicated on uh, Isaac. So that's a means of, of engaging uh, uh, with computer society. Uh, we've also been reaching out to the radar uh, uh, research, so the, the AESS um, society. Uh, this year, uh, Tanelli and myself um, uh, organized, uh, are organizing uh, two uh, sessions in the radar conference, IEEE radar conference, as happens uh, next uh, week. We've been quite creative in naming them Isaac 1 and Isaac 2. I hope we come up with uh, better names maybe uh, next year. And you can see the details of these and the main contributors uh, of each of these uh, sessions. Um, and we look forward to organizing more stuff uh, with uh, the radar community. Uh, here's a long list, I'm not going to go through um, one by one, of, that summarizes basically uh, conferences, symposia and flagship conferences, workshops, um, uh, special sessions and tutorials, keynotes, panels in, in all kinds of conferences. So the numbers are two dedicated conferences, four regular sessions, nine workshops, seven special sessions, eight tutorials from our members in the ATI uh, on Isaac. So quite a lot of activity and I'm re really happy to see, uh, you know, uh, us being very active uh, in, in many places. On our education uh, stream, so work group three, uh, that's, so the, the recent highlights here, we've had the third season of our own uh, webinar series hosted by our ATI on our platform. Uh, we've had a workshop on Isaac in the AESS uh, Society. We've had eight tutorials and keynotes uh, that have happened or are happening this year. We had Isaac in uh, the Atrophy 6G Training School. Uh, I think that was late uh, last year. And also Isaac in the Abu Dhabi 6G Summit. And we had three planned workshops and summer schools uh, on Isaac in terms of uh, education. So what do we have here? Ah, these are the first two. Uh, no, that was the second season of our webinar series. And these are the, 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 the invited speakers in, in that series. Remember in our second series, we had these two in one seminars. So we had two speakers at a time. We had very healthy uh, numbers. So more than a thousand Zoom attendees in, in, in these um, uh, uh, webinars put together. We had more than 37,000 uh, YouTube, Bilibili, uh, Jiju, Jihu uh, uh, views, uh, which is really, really nice to see. We're reaching out, we're, we're reaching quite far uh, in, in the community. Uh, the third season, um, we had, these were our invited uh, speakers and we'd like to thank everyone for participating. So we went back to one speaker at a time. Again, very healthy number, so uh, close to 1,000 uh, Zoom at, uh, attendees, more than 32,000 uh, people on the live broadcasting. Uh, so these are monthly seminars that we intend to, to keep uh, going, uh, and there's going to be a fourth uh, season coming soon. Uh, now, this was the, the workshop. Um, this was um, a dedicated workshop on Isaac. And that was attached to the IET radar conference um, uh, late uh, last year, if I remember correctly. That was organized by our member and esteemed colleague, uh, Maria Greco. And you can see uh, the invited speakers here. Uh, we had the 6G training school that was organized by our colleague Marwa Chafi in Abu Dhabi. Uh, and that was uh, together with the 6G summit uh, in the same week. 
And you can see snapshots of a couple of talks um, in, in, in the uh, training school. Uh, yeah, this is the 6G summit that happened, as I said, uh, almost at the same time as the training school. And again, you can see the committee here. And I was happy to deliver a talk on uh, on Isaac. So Isaac was there in, in the 6G summit uh, as well. Uh, these, I think, are planned uh, activities. So Maria is going to uh, carry on organizing um, uh, the Isaac workshop for the Aerospace uh, and, uh, and uh, Electronic Society. Uh, um, I'm not sure if it's going to be India or Sydney uh, this year. It's going to be later, uh, November 2023. Um, our colleague Nuria uh, Prelic is, is going to organize a summer school for the same uh, society on Isaac, and that's going to be June this year. And our colleague uh, Chung Hui Chan will organize a summer school uh, in Shenzhen in, in China. So those of you interested in learning about Isaac, uh, feel free to attend, uh, register and attend these events. Uh, now moving on to work group four our online contents. So recent highlights are uh, our best readings list. That's a live list and uh, we keep updating it. Uh, our GitHub uh, library that we keep populating with code and uh, our, our websites. So first is our GitHub. These are the number again, I think impressive numbers, the ones I, um, I, I tend to uh, uh, separate. It's very interesting that we're at the top uh, in, in, in access for MATLAB weekly uh, trending. We have more than 600 papers uh, on Isaac and more than 80,000 views, uh, more than 10,000 unique visitors on our dedicated space uh, in, in GitHub. So quite a lot of activity, quite a lot of updates, quite a lot of uh, uh, sharing of code and sharing of, of research uh, on the platform. Uh, the best uh, readings, um, so we have 15 categories, uh, more than, so 18 entities, uh, and you can see, uh, check the website. So we have um, uh, topics from uh, special issues, from theory, from uh, all kinds of waveform design, to transceiver architecture, spectrum sharing, cellular and sensor network design, security, uh, vehicle applications, vehicular applications of Isaac, uh, and so on. And as I said, these are live lists. Whenever you know we, we identify a paper that is making impact in the area, okay. it goes into the best readings uh, of our uh, 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 community. Uh, and in terms of uh, our websites, so here's our official ETI website. We have a dedicated web website where we host our webinars, other videos from our webinars, and they stay there forever for everybody to, to check. And these are snapshots from our uh, website dedicated to our workshops. And that's where you find concentrated the information of what workshops are, are coming up in, in what venues, instead of going here and there in all kinds of uh, venue uh, websites. So keep uh, checking those. Uh, we always populate them with content. We're gonna have a fourth uh, webinar series hosted in, in, in our, on our website and all the new workshops will be advertised there. And by the way, those of you uh, who are participating and are being active, feel free to let us know if you're organizing a workshop uh, and we'd be happy to, to advertise it um, in our ATI um, uh, venues and websites. Um, our official accounts, yeah. So we have a YouTube account, again, quite active, quite uh, visited. You can see snapshots of our, uh, of our videos here. So our uh, webinars, our interviews, and so on. We have a Bilibili channel, channel uh, so pretty much the same, populated with our videos um, and lots of uh, visibility there. So again, if you're if you want to take part in this, uh, feel free to get in touch. And we have our WeChat uh, official account. Again, quite a busy uh, space, a good forum to discuss uh, and uh, advertise each other's uh, research. Uh, in terms of demos and data sets, uh, so that's our working group uh, five. So in terms of uh, highlights, we have two data sets now that exist and uh, uh, three demos that we, we report here. So the first data set uh, has been established for a while now, I think more than a year, and that's led by uh, our colleague Ahmed Al-Khatib together with uh, Qualcomm. So the DeepSense 6G, and this is where you can access it and find all kinds of uh, information. 
It is indeed the world's first large-scale uh, sensing communication data set. I think it has a, an emphasis on sensing-assisted uh, communication. Uh, it's more than 1 million multi multimodal sensing uh, and, and communication data samples. These include millimeter wave communications, GPS data, image, LiDAR, and radar data that you can use to uh, uh, train your code, for example, or uh, uh, you know, produce your results on, on measured data. Uh, more than 30 scenarios, indoor, outdoor, vehicular, uh, and so on. Uh, yeah, and you can see the applications, vehicles, humans, drones, robots, and, and so on. And there's uh, regular updates. Uh, there's 60 uh, testbed uh, facilities and data uh, on there, and so on. So Ahmed keeps uh, uh, updating uh, the data set. The second data set, I think a more recent one, was led by uh, our colleague Yan Hao Kui, together with uh, Vivo Communication Technology. Uh, and that's more on a gesture recognition kind of data set. So uh, it has three scenarios, um, uh, uh, um, emulates three, 13 kinds of motions, and you can see snapshots uh, here. So uh, oriented towards gesture recognition and developing your whatever learning uh, or signal processing for gesture recognition through Isaac. Um, I guess in terms of number, it's interesting that it's in the 3.6 gigahertz, so sub, sub 6 uh, giga uh, uh, implementation. Uh, and you can find again uh, all the details in, in the relevant uh, 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 publication. Uh, in terms of uh, demos, uh, here's a recent one a set up in, in the lab, and uh, that's in uh, SUSTEC in uh, Shenzhen. And that's led by our colleagues uh, Xiaoyan Li and uh, Yi Guan. Uh, and that's an experiment on wirelessly powered uh, Isaac. So integrating uh, wireless power, sensing, and communications. Uh, and you can find the details here, may, perhaps maybe not worth uh, uh, looking at the, the numbers here. Uh, but it involves uh, a signal generator, a key site signal generator, an eight antenna uh, uh, beam former, um, and then uh, a receiver apparatus, and also an energy harvester uh, here. And through this, uh, the, the colleagues have been able to demonstrate over the year uh, wireless power transfer um, and switching between wireless power transfer and sensing and communication uh, blocks. Uh, we've had recent experiments in our lab in, in UCL, uh, and that's my team working in, in the communications lab in UCL. And you can see a snapshot of that where we demonstrated um, an Isaac waveform. So here's the, an antenna array that emulates our Isaac signal. Here we emulate two communication users and we measure a radar beam towards a given direction. And through this uh, setup, we've been able to observe trade-offs between communication constellations and radar beam patterns. And more recently, uh, implement some elementary uh, activity detection through this radar beam, such as beam people counting, where we've been able to uh, detect uh, wherever somebody obstructs uh, this radar beam. And in our radar lab, more recently, we have another uh, demo, uh, a radar-centric uh, waveform demo, where we take a, a radar waveform, an LFM, so linear, linear frequency modulated waveform, and apply index modulation to piggyback uh, data bits on this radar waveform. That's based on our uh, uh, FPGA platform, so uh, RF system of chip uh, platform that is able to uh, produce uh, adaptive radar waveforms and play with center frequencies, bandwidth, and polarizations, which we use as our indices, uh, again, to observe uh, direct trade-offs between radar performance, like the radar SNR, and uh, communication throughput, for example. Uh, and this is uh, now, this brings us to working group six uh, reports or so our industrial uh, activities. And I'm doing this on behalf on, of our industry chair, Tony Chao Han. Uh, so in terms of uh, the updates from uh, standards, we now have a lot of activity uh, on, on Isaac, on Isaac studies, feasibility studies that have happened uh, in the past. Uh, I guess um, WLAN sensing was the first to, to enter the realm of Isaac, but we now have activities in 3GPP, ITU, uh, uh, going beyond uh, uh, you know, uh, feasibility studies to, I think, requirements uh, at this stage. And also other uh, venues, IEEE, NextG Alliance in the US, Hexa X um, in, in Europe, 
and IMT 2030 uh, in China. So many of our members are part of these activities uh, and there's growing interest um, in, in Isaac. Uh, you can see, I think these are snapshots from uh, the study group, 3GPP study group, uh, their February 2022 visibility study uh, uh, more than a year uh, ago, which has led now to uh, more recent activities in, in this standard. Uh, and this is the 802.11bf activity, so WLAN sensing. Uh, and I think Tony is heavily involved in this one. And this has been the timeline. So work starting from, uh, I would say, mid or September 2020 uh, on uh, sensing related activities through Wi-Fi and with the plan going on all the way to 2025. Uh, I don't think I can present uh, this uh, in much detail. Uh, Tony is probably the best uh, to, to discuss this uh, if needed. Uh, in terms of other industrial activities, we've had industrial panels and workshops. Uh, so a recent one uh, happened in uh, Milan uh, for the European Microwave Week. Week It was organized by our colleagues in, in Huawei, uh, Milan. Uh, and that was a full day workshop on, on Isaac. Uh, we had an industrial panel uh, in Globcom 2022. And that was uh, organized and moderated by our, our colleague Pei Ying Zhu from Huawei uh, and with participation with a mix of academia and, and industry. Uh, and we have uh, a dedicated workshop on Wi-Fi sensing and, and Wi-Fi standards. Uh, that, is, that happened in December 2022 in Shenzhen. And as a result uh, of that, I understand there's been a, a, a white paper on Wi-Fi uh, sensing. Uh, and these are some guest speakers uh, of that event. In terms of that white paper, these are some of the uh, contributors. Uh, um, I understand there, there have been more than 45 contributors from our uh, members of uh, the Emerging Technology Initiative. It's been the first industrial-led uh, Wi-Fi sensing uh, white paper. It was released a couple of months ago, February, uh, and with participation of more than 20 uh, institutions uh, or, and universities. And it covers, feel free to have a read, look it up and have a read. It covers an, a lot of uh, use cases from fundamental theory uh, of Isaac to uh, key technologies and demos. Uh, and here's um, a 6G uh, conference, the global 6G conference that happened in uh, March. Uh, this year in Nanjing, China. Uh, there's been presentations of 12 6G white papers, including the, the one on integrated sensing and communications. A lot of uh, esteemed uh, speakers taking part uh, in this um, uh, uh, conference. Uh, more than 15 project teams and 10 national uh, experts. Again, a lot of presence uh, of ISACs in this uh, 6G summit, 6G conference. Uh, in terms of reaching out to uh, uh, adjacent societies, this is something that we are very keen uh, to do. So here's the highlight, uh, again, to iterate in terms of uh, connections with other uh, uh, societies. So we've been reaching out with uh, radar community, so AESS society. So for the first time, taking part and organizing special sessions in the radar conference, uh, 2023, and that's happening next week. So if you're there, Feel free to check uh, these two uh, sessions out. Uh, as I said, Maria has organized uh, late last year uh, uh, a dedicated workshop on Isaac for the AESS community, and she's organizing the next one uh, late uh, 2023. Uh, we've been reaching out to the ACM Society, so the Computer Society. Again, these are the three highlights last year's Mobicom, this year's MobiSys. Uh, and uh, this year's Mobicom. And again, you can see the key uh, organizers here. And in terms of planning, we want to uh, reach out to more people, uh, collaborate with more people that are relevant to integrating uh, sensing and communications. Um, we will uh, collect and advertise um, Isaac related activities uh, every three, four months. So if you're doing something that we don't know of, please get in touch and let us know. Uh, in terms of reaching out to more uh, societies, as I said, I think now we cover communication society, signal processing society, 
uh, the radar community, so AESS, and the com computer uh, society we've got in touch uh, with. Perhaps uh, next um, uh, societies will be something to do with intelligent transport or RFIC design. Uh, so again, if you're working on this, uh, we'd be happy to, to learn about it and advertise it through our ETI. Uh, so in terms of our plan, we're going to keep on uh, working with the communication society, with the vehicular technology society, with a signal processing society through uh, a combination of events, with a computer society, and with the aerospace and electronic system society, and perhaps reach out uh, with the information theory society, the ITSS um, uh, conferences, and um, yeah, the microwave uh, uh, technology society. So again, that's something perhaps we, we want to discuss, and it's on our scope uh, for uh, going forward. Uh, again, uh, that's something we'd like to encourage you, if you have uh, collaborations with uh, members of these societies, to uh, let us know about this so we can streamline our uh, engagement. Uh, in terms of our webinar series, so the plan is we're going to have a fourth, fifth, and sixth session. That's as far as we, we're looking at uh, right now. The fourth session is likely we're going to be uh, focusing on radar-centric ISAC, so uh, uh, perhaps coming from the radar uh, society and contributions and um, uh, their, their pathways towards ISAC. Uh, and some ideas for the next uh, webinar series, uh, perhaps something on information theory or intelligent transportation. And these are under uh, discussion, and we'd be happy to take on uh, any ideas for alternative topics or uh, how to better uh, prepare for these uh, uh, webinars. Uh, again, a list of our uh, organizers uh, is shown uh, on this slide. I think uh, that's towards the end. Uh, so again, I'd like to advertise uh, and, and to welcome you to join um, uh, our next dedicated symposium on joint communication and sensing. That's going to be the fourth edition, March 2024, in Leven in Belgium. So if you're working in the community, if you want to participate in a, a, in a symposium that's dedicated, it's on Isaac, feel free to submit your paper uh, and get in touch. Uh, I think now we're uh, on our uh, questions and our answer sessions. Uh, let me uh, see if I can uh, check the chat. I'll give it uh, one minute or so. I'll pause for one minute to see if we have any questions and, and I'll do my best to discuss and, and answer any of this. So let me see, I'll, I'll monitor the chat to see if there's anything more other than uh, registering your attendance. If you haven't registered yet, please uh, let us know your name, affiliation, and email so we can uh, register your presence yeah. in this uh, uh, meeting. So I'll pause for a minute to see if we have any comments or questions. Okay, I don't see anything popping up on the chat. Um, so I think then um, I'll leave you to it uh, in fans usual style. Enjoy a healthy and happy life. And I hope to see many of you uh, in ICC uh, late uh, next month, ICC 2023. So many thanks for attending this uh, and uh, I'll see you soon. So let me stop sharing. Okay, so that's it for me. Many thanks, everyone, and uh, see you soon.